Hey YouTube, I'm back and I do have a very special video for you guys. This is actually a tour of my shelving unit. Uh, my shelving unit actually contains most of my modern games, like anything from the Wii to the 360s to the PS3. It does not contain PS2, original Xbox, and GameCube, and pretty much my um, entire retro collection. This is actually, um, a, this is a pretty large chunk, but it's by no means my entire collection. This is actually about one-sixth of it. But I'm just going to go a, do a little tour of it. Um, I have never done one of these, and um, I know a few people have been asking me to do it. Um, a lot of my games are packed away, but this is just um, most of the modern stuff that I do have out. So I'm just going to show you this stuff because it's uh, I think it's pretty neat. So I'm just going to do a, a, a pretty much a flyby of the uh, each uh, row. Uh, and if you want to uh, stop at a particular point to check out a particular game or a, a selection of games, just press the pause button and uh, just take a quick look. So all right, so I'm going to start off at the top. I just have a few. Um, limited editions and uh, this is where I keep my uh, boxed um, original Xboxes. I have about seven of them up here and I have a few other odds and ends such as the Gizmondo and the uh, N-Gage and uh, a few other uh, Dreamcast accessories stuff like that. Pretty neat stuff. The Halo, the um, Star Wars slash Tetris, the uh, Hello Kitty, the uh, Crystal, a couple other ones as well. All right, so all right, I'm just going to start up here. This might be like a two-part video. So this is like most of my limited, a couple of my limited editions. A lot of my bigger stuff is somewhere else. Uh, I just don't have the room in my room for it. There's my uh, three um, Peace Walker, and then my, there's my sealed uh, Big Boss edition. Oh, my light's crapping out. My uh, my sealed Big Boss um, uh, camouflage PSP never been opened. All right, so this is the 360 collection. Couple sealed games. Um, couple a couple of them I haven't shown. The Call of Duties. Um, the reason why I have um, two Call of Duty twos and two Call of Duty threes is. Um, the Call of Duty 2 is the, um, the the 2005 Game of the Year edition, which has some bonus features, and the uh, same thing with the Call of Duty 3. It's just the Gold edition, which is uh, has the same bonus features like DLC stuff like that. I do have a couple doubles. Whenever you see that, I, I have like a limited edition, and I just have a standard one. So I don't know. I just like to have that. I do have a couple up here as well. A couple of the uh, Burger King games sealed. All right, next row. The Xbox 360 is by far my mo is my favorite um, system at the moment. It's I just love it. I've always been an Xbox fan. Like right here, I have the uh, the two um, the bigger the, the bigger um, one is the limited edition of um, Marvel vs. Capcom. Never been opened, sealed. Operation Darkness, I just got that one. It's uh, still sealed. Pretty interesting um, RPG. All right, my X360 limited editions. I think I have a couple PS3 ones on here as well. There's my um, a little like countdown clock for the Kinect when that first came out. It's a uh, mirror finish. It says uh, "You are the controller." It's, I can't believe the the clock's still active. That's pretty bizarre. I have my little Zoom stand. All right, moving down to. Uh, PS3. Yeah, the lighting in here is pretty terrible. I have to use this little handheld light. So if you see a little glare, that's probably what it's from. I 
don't know how well that's showing up. I don't know if you're getting um, a lot of glare or if it's blurry. And a few more down here. A couple of the um, imports. Then I have my handhelds. Um, I have my one of my Gizmondos here. And down here I have a PSP Go in the, in the little Metal Gear case. I have a couple Game Boys, a limited edition Pikachu, uh, Game Boy SP, the uh, Pokemon Pikachu little um, Tamagotchi thing. I've had that forever. Um, then down here is going to be PSP. My two limited edition Death Juniors, very hard to find. I'm going to do a PSP collection video because I do have a ton of PSP games. And um, I'm actually, let me get these out of the way. This is actually um, right here. This one is my dad's old. Um, um, Smith & Wesson uh, Model 26, a snub nose um, 38 special box, and the box to my uh, Glock 27. I think I just have some spare magazines in here. Get that open and see what is in there. Yeah, I just have some spare magazines. Get that out of the way. A couple of these are sealed. I have I actually have two copies of both um, Portable Ops and Portable Ops Plus, so um, that's that right there. Um, and then the last row down here. I find this one very interesting. This SOCOM. Because it actually went. The, this is the this is the, the the first SOCOM right here, obviously. So it's Fireteam Bravo and then Fireteam Bravo Two, but Fireteam Bravo has the new um, kind of box art with the little PSP logo. So I'm, that's pretty interesting that this one has the new box art and the the sequel has the um, the older box art. I find that pretty bizarre. Uh, I just thought that was kind of weird. Couple of my uh, sealed. Um, premium boxes, a couple UMD videos, um, N-Gage games, um, Turbo Graphics, and some um, 3DO and CDI games. And um, that's it for this side, and um, in my next video I'll just show the other side, which is the rest of my crap. Alright, thanks for watching.